The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded November tenth, nineteen seventy-three, in New Delhi, India. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your coming here, taking so much trouble to participate in this Krishna Consciousness movement. And I shall simply try to draw your attention about the importance of this movement. Importance of this movement is this, that we do not know what is the aim of life. The modern civilization all over the world, especially in the Western world, and nobody knows what is the actual problem and what is the aim of life. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita says the real problem is janma mittu jarabhyadhi dukkha dusanu darsana. That birth, death, old age, and disease. These are the problems. If you take birth, then you will have to die. Anyone who takes birth, he must have to die. And uh, so long, between birth and death, there is old age and disease. Actually, these are the problems. So far, we are concerned, living entities, every one of us, that is, described in the Bhagavad-gītā, na jāyate nāmriyati vāpadāci. The living entity is never born, never dies. Nita sāsatmaya purāna na hannate hannamāne sarīre. The living entity is eternal, ever existing, and very old. And na hannate hannamāne sarīre. It does not die after the annihilation of this body. But the modern civilization, they are thinking that this body, we have got somehow or other a lump of matter, and so long we have got this body, let us enjoy life, sense gratification. This is atheistic theory. In our country there were atheists also just like Charvak Muni. According to his philosophy, he says, Rīnaṁ kṛtā ghritaṁ privet. Ah, because in our country, India, <coughs> life is enjoyable when we get ah, to eat too much ghee, pakki khana. That is enjoyable. Just like in Western countries, if they can eat, if they can drink more, and that is life in life. In our country, of course. So, Rinam Krita Kritampur. If somebody says that I have no money, the Charvak Muni says that you take a loan from your friend and purchase ghee and India life. Rinam Krita Kritampur. Jabat Jive Sukham Jive. So long you live, live happy. Why? Make big borrow steel and live happy. No, I shall be responsible. I shall have to pay next life. Charvak when he says, no, no, don't bother about next life. Bhasmi bhuta sa dehasra kuta punaragamana bhavet. 
your body will be burnt in the crematorium, that finished. That's all. This foolishness is there, that this life, we do not know that this human form of life we have got by the evolutionary process going through so many lives. Just like in our present life we can understand that I have come to this body, old body, through child's body, boy's body, youth's body, uh, in this way. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. It is not manufactured. Dehinasmin Tatha Dehi Kaumara Jovanamajara Tatha Dehantara Prati Dhiras Tatunami. You have to accept this. Dehantara Prati. From one body to another. What is my childhood body? That is gone. What is my boyhood body? That is gone. Where is my youthhood body? That is gone. Not for, not only for me, for everyone. Then past, present and future. Similarly, when this body will be gone, I will get another body. Where is the difficulty to understand? Tatha dehantara prati dhirastatanami. Dhiro. Because we are not sober. There are two classes of men. Dhiro and adhiro. Dhira means sober, thinking, thoughtful. And adhira means restless. So, with restless brain, it is difficult. But if you have got sober brain, then there is no difficulty to understand that I am eternal. I was in the child's body. I was in the baby's body. I was in the boy's body. I was in a young man's body. Now I have got a different body. I am living asmin dehe, dehi nasmin jatha dehe. It is very easy to understand. But Krishna says, dhirastatana mihyati. Those who are sober, they can't understand. So people cannot understand. That means the modern civilization is not sober. It is just like cats and dog. You cannot make a cat and dog so bad to understand the philosophy of life. They have degraded so much. Ah. That is describing the Shastra. Jashatma buddhi kunapeti dhatuke atma buddhi. Thinking I am this body. I am American. I am Indian. I am Brahman, I am black, I am white, I am fat, I am thin, I am this. No, no. You are not this body at all. That is knowledge. That is knowledge. Knowledge begins when you understand that you are not this body. That is the beginning of knowledge. Otherwise, I am this body, this knowledge is there in the cats and dogs also. The dog also jumping because he's thinking I'm a very nice dog, a nice cat. So, Shastra therefore says, Jasatva buddhi kunapet dhatuke. This body is a bag of three elements, kapha pitta bhal, according to Ayurved system. This physiological condition, anatomical condition of this body is made of kapha pitta bayu. So it is a bag of kapha pitta bayu or flesh, bones, blood, urine, stool, and mucus. If you dissect this body, you will find. Do you mean to say combination of these things can make a life so nice brain? If you are so competent, then take these ingredients. Bones, place, they are easily available in the slaughterhouse. Make a good bread. But that is not possible. They simply speak, but it is not possible. Therefore, the, this body is not the moving spirit soul. That is different. Therefore, Shastra says, 
जो सात बुद्धि कुनपे तिधात के सधिक कलत्रा दिशु हो मोइज्जे थी एंड एस सुन एस यू टेक दिस बॉडी दैट आई एम दिस बॉडी दैट इन बॉडी रिलेशन बिकॉज ए वोमेन हैज गॉट बॉडी रिलेशन ही सीज माय वाइफ एंड द चिल्ड्रन बोर आउट ऑफ द ओम्ब ऑफ दैट वोमेन दैट इज माय चिल्ड्रन सधिक कलत्रा दिशु जो सात बुद्धि कुलपेति धात के सधिक कलत्रा दिशु भौम जधि भौम मिस इन लैंड वेर यू लीव और वेर दिस बॉडी इज प्रोड्यूस दैट इज वॉर्सिबल दैट इज कॉल्ड नेशनल भौम जधि जो सात बुद्धि कुलपेति धात के सधिक कलत्रा दिशु भौम जधि जो तीर्थ बुद्धि सलीले न कर तीर्थ Holy place, uh, just like people go to Vrindavan, Haridwar, Salile, they take bath in the Ganges and the Jamuna, and they think that now we have finished our Tirtha. Uh, no, Tirtha is not that. Tirtha means we have to find out sober person to take instruction from. So people who are not interested to the sober man. And lives like this. That I am this body, and the bodily uh, uh, productions, a relation. They are my own men. And if I go to holy place, take bath, and then come back. No, Shastra says no. Jatitha buddhi salile na kari chit janesu avigyesu. You must approach avigya parsa. That is the meaning of pilgrimage. As the Veda says. तद्विज्ञानाथम सा गुरु में वा भी गच्छे सब सूत्रियम ब्रह्मनिष्ठा वी मस्ट फाइंड आउट ए सोवर मैन और गुरु सो दैट ही कैन इंस्ट्रक्ट यू ही कैन डेलीवर यू फ्रॉम इग्नोरेंस ऑफ लाइफ सो यू फाइंड इन दिस भगवत गीता व्हेन देयर वाज टॉक्स गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन अर्जुन एंड कृष्णा फ्रेंडली टॉक्स Arjun was speaking. Let them enjoy this kingdom. I don't want to fight with my own men. That was his decision. Ah, Arjun, Krishna said, "No, no, this is not your duty. You are a khatriya. Ah, now you are in the battlefield. You must fight." In this way, ordinary topics were going on. But when Arjun saw it, very difficult to understand whether I shall. Fight or not fight, he accepted Krishna as guru uh, because he thought that friendly talks will not make solution. Let me accept Krishna as my. She says to him, "Sadimangs prapannam, prapannam and sarenant. You are my guru. Now I, you are not my friend. You are my guru because uh, a disciple cannot disobey the guru. A friend can disobey." Krishna was asking to fight. As a friend, he was disobeying. But if the guru says that you must fight, then he cannot do that. Therefore, he accepted Shishasti, Shadi Maha Prapanna. So, actually, we are all in the ignorance. The same formula: Jasya to Buddhi Kuna Peeti Dhatu Ki Sadik Kalatra Dishu Ho Mai Jyoti. जो तीर्थ बुद्धि सलीले न कर जनेशु अभिज्ञेशु सब गोखर गोखर गो मीन्स का एंड खर मीन्स एस दिस इज दर्डिक्ट ऑफ द शास्त्र दैट इफ एनी वन इज इन दॉडिली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ ही इज नो बेटर देन द एनिमल गो एंड खर एस एंड का This ignorance, when this ignorance prevails, that is called dharma sadhani bhavati bharata. Uh, Krishna says, "Jada jada hi dharma sadhani bhavata bharata." When people have become like cats and dogs, the bodily concept of life and working whole day and night uh, without any spiritual understanding, without the aim of life. So 
this human life is not meant for that purpose. Uh, this is the mistake. Uh, it is not that the, the dogs and cats are eating in a different way. Now we eat in a nice table, a nice plate, and are very nicely dressed and you are eating. But the eating process is there. Either you nicely eat or wrongly eat, but you have to fulfill your bell and satisfy your hunger. That is not advancement of civilization. Ah, to eat nicely, to sleep nicely, to defend nicely, and to have sexual life nicely, that is not advancement of civilization. Ahara nidra vayamaitunancha samarna metat posubhinarana. Sexual intercourse with beautiful woman and sexual intercourse with the female dog. The pleasure is the same. Uh, that is not advancement of civilization. Advancement of civilization is atmatattam. Uh, atmatat, uh, that is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Apasyatam atmatattam griheshu griyamedina. Srotubhyadini Rajendra. Uh, Maharaj Parikhit. Uh, uh, asked Sudev Goswami, now I am going to die. What is my duty? What I shall hear from? So at that time, Purikit Maharaj, uh, yes, Sudev Goswami said, my dear king, Sotubhadini uh, Ninam Santi Sahasas, Apasatamatam Grihesu Grihamedina. Uh, there those who are Grihamedhi. Gyamedhi means has met the home, country, society, family as the only means of uh, advancement. They are called Gyamedhi. But there is another word, what is called Gyastha Ashram. Ashram. Brahmachari Ashram. Gyastha Ashram. Banaprastha Ashram. Sanyas Ashram. Asam, as soon as any common man can understand, as soon as we say asam, there is some spiritual idea. Asam, here is the asam. So grihastha asam is different, and grihamedhi is different. Grihamedhi means one who does not know what is the ultimate goal of life, and living like cats and dogs also, they live with their children, wife, they also find out food. They also try to defend, protect, simply with these ideas if we leave. That is called Grihamedhi. Apasatamatratattam. Therefore, our Vedanta Sutra is there to give enlightenment. As our student, Srimad Pradyumna Dasatikaji said, Athata Brahma Jigyasa. This life is not meant for wasting. Time like cats and dogs, because after all, we have to give up this life. But before giving us this life, we must gain something. That is this kind of Upanishad. Etat vidityaja prayati sa brahmana. We will have to die like cats and dogs, but we have got the chance to understand what is the value of life. The cats and dogs have. Have no chance. See, simply, if we waste our time like cats and dogs and do not know what is the aim of life, say, Kripana, Eta Viditya Prayati, Abhiditya Prayati, Sa Kripana. There are two things Brahmana and Kripana. Kripana means miser. A person who got this valuable body, just like if you get millions of dollars. If you do not utilize it, if you simply see in the treasury that you have got so much money, then you are on. It is practical. But if you utilize that money and then stop one crore, you make ten crores, then you are called integral. Similarly, if we think that I have got this human form of life, a ah, better standard of eating, sleeping, and mating, then you remain creepola. 
you could not utilize. But if you know in this life which is possible, what is the value of this life, what is Brahma, what I, what I am, what is my connection with Brahma, why I have come here, where, where I shall go again, why I am put into the miserable condition of life, I do not wish to die, why death is enforced upon me. This is called Brahma Jigyasa. Inquiry. Why? Therefore there is a Keno Upanishad. Why? Unless this why inquiry comes into the human body, then he is failure. Parabhavastava davodha jata javanna jignasato atmatattam. Whatever you are doing, you are being defeated. Because you are doing everything in ignorance. And this body, this is my country, this is my kinsman. And in this way, uh, I die like cats and dogs. Uh, so, uh, Krishna says, Jada jada hi dharma sagyani bhavati bharata. Oputthana uh, adharmas. Adharmas. What is that dharma? Uh, Krishna says, Puritrana sadhunam vinasaya cha duskrita. Uh, dharma sangasthapuna arthaya juge juge sammamani. Uh, so what is that dharma? Dharma it is said. Dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Dharma, the simple description of dharma is the codes which are given by God. It doesn't matter whether you are Hindu, Muslim or Christian or any, everyone, any civilized man has got some religion. If because dharma na hi na samana. If you haven't go, no religion. It doesn't matter whether Hindu religion or Muslim religion. You must have some religion. Religion means to understand God. That is religion. Religion does not mean I manufacture something. No, you cannot manufacture it. Ah. Religion means just that you cannot manufacture laws. Law is given by the state, by the government. Similarly, religion means the course, the orders given by God. Therefore he must know what is God, what is his order, and how to carry out it. Then he will be successful. Your life is successful. Otherwise, uh, just like the cats and dogs, they do not know how to carry out the laws of the state. Of course they are excused. Ah. They keep to the right, keep to the left. The cats and dogs, they can violate. Law is not meant for the cats and dogs. Law is meant for the human being. Ah. Therefore the cats and dogs, if they violate the courts of God, the law of God, they can be excused because they are animals. But a, a human being, he has got the developed consciousness if he does not utilize this body for understanding what is God, what I am, what is my relationship with God, how to act, where from I have come, where to go. There are so many questions. That is called Brahma Jignasa. Ah. Brahma Jignasa. Ah. This life is meant for Brahma Jignasa. Ah. Now, where to Jignasa? That is also Vedic in Jnana. Tad Vijnana Thamsa Guru Meva Abhigachet. Tad Vijnana Arthi not to understand that transcendental science. One must have to go to the bona fide guru. And who is guru? Guru is the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna. And anyone who represents that supreme personality of Godhead, he is guru. Guru means representative of guru, as God. Therefore, According to Vedic Shastra, Guru is worshipped like God. Uh, this is just like my disciples, they have given this seat and almost equally with God's seat. That is injunction. Jasya prasadat bhagavat prasadat. Guru should be worshipped as God. But Guru will never claim that he is God. That is not Guru. 
Guru will always claim that he is servant of God. Uh, because the Shishya worship him as Shishya, Guru does not say that you simply worship me. He, uh, he, he directs that you worship God. But because one gets God's connection through Guru, therefore Guru is worshipped as God. Just like in our country, there was Bhaisra. Uh, he was given the same respect as the king because he is representative of the royal representative. Similarly, Shastra says, Sakshad Haritena Samasta Shastra Rukta Statha Bhavata Eva Sadhvi Kintu Prabhurja Priya Eva Tasha Bandi Gura Sri Chananarangam. This is the offering of visions to Guru. Guru is described as respect, respectable as the Supreme Personality of God. Achar Jagmang Vijayanath, the Supreme Personality of God, the Acharya should be accepted as I am. And in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Acharya Upasanam. Acharya Upasanam. So therefore, we have to receive the knowledge in the disciplic success of Acharya. That is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Evam parampara praptam imam rajarsayo vidu. Rajarsay. These knowledge, they were uh, understood by the Rajarsi. Rajarsi means king at the same time saintly person, not the king and rubber. Dasudharma, simply exacting taxes. Come on, give me tax. And you go to hell. That is not king. That is not government. It is government's duty to make. The government should be Krishna conscious, and it is government's duty to see that everyone is Krishna conscious or God conscious. You say Krishna or God, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you think that let the people go to hell, it doesn't matter. Bring taxes uh, and let us enjoy, and you go to hell. Uh, it is very horrible condition. Uh, so everywhere this is going on. Therefore, there is necessity of awakening this God consciousness of the people. It is not a childish thing or sentimental fanaticism. It is real science because this human life is meant for understanding what I am. Ahang Brahmasmi. I am not this body. I am spirit soul. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasuchati Nakankati. If you can educate people to become Brahmabhuta, then Prasannatma, he becomes happy, jolly. Uh, just like these American boys, American girls, they were many, many times in better condition of life. Now they are uh, wondering with me, what can I give them? I cannot give them nice food. I cannot give them nice shelter, neither have money. Uh, they are coming, they are all rich men's son. Uh, but they are after me. Why? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. They have got something. That feeling of lies that uh, Bhakti, Bhakti Vedanta Sani has given us something. That is, therefore they are after me. So this is the Brahma Khan, Brahma Bhuta Atma. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. That is the sign. Uh, I have become Brahma. I have become Narayan. Uh, no. If you are Prasanna, if you are always joyful, then it is to be understood that you have realized Brahma. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. No sochati, no kāṅkati. Uh, there is no sochana. Here in the material world, I have got something, if I lose it, I cry, I have lost, I have lost, I have lost. And if I do not possess, then kāṅghati, I must get it, I must. These two businesses are going on. But when you become brahma bhuta prasannātmā, these two things will go out. 
न कान खते न सोच एंड समस्त सर्वेशु भूतेशु समस्त सर्वेशु भूतेशु इक्वल इज सींग ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज पंडिता समदर्शन दैट विच वॉज ब्रह्मभूतम इज ही इज लैंड एंड स्कॉलर अहंग ब्रह्मास मीज सेल्फ रियलाइज देयर फॉर ही हैज नो सच डिस्टिंगशन द गिव प्रोटेक्शन टू द ह्यूमन बींग एंड सेंड दीज पुअर एनिमल्स टू दीज स्लैटर हाउस इक्वालिटी वॉट इक्वालिटी वट दिज ही पुअर एनिमल्स हैव डन दैट यू आर सेंडिंग दैम टू दी स्लैटर हाउस इज दैर सिविलाइजेशन दिस रैविश सिविलाइजेशन मेंटेनिंग हंड्रेड एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्लैटर हाउस सो सिंपली स्पीकिंग लव फ्रेटर्निटी वेर इज अर फ्रेटर्निटी वेर इज अर लव This cannot be possible. This may be big talks only, but to be understood by the nonsense. Unless you become Brahma Bhuta, self-realized, Krishna conscious, God conscious, these things are only stories. It is not possible. This is the description in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, no sochati na kaanthati, sama sarveshu bhute, madhavakti labate para, then he becomes a devotee. To become devotee is not so easy thing. Uh, not so easy thing. Uh, people think that devotion is a sentiment. No, it is not sentiment. It is a great science. It is a great science to become fully satisfied. Uh, fully satisfied. As Krishna says, "Bhokaram jagatapasam sarvaloka mahesaram." श्रीदांग सर्वभूतान ज्ञाता मांग शांति निच्छति दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ शांति भोक्ता राम कृष्ण इज द एंजॉय वी आर आफ्टर वर्शिप इन कृष्ण दैट इज आवर बिजनेस वेर एवर वी गो वी इंस्टॉल दिस कृष्ण डीटी एंड यू आर फॉर कृष्ण वी प्रिंट बुक्स फॉर कृष्ण वी distribute books for krishna we beg everyone to become krishna's bhakta therefore it is krishna conscious we have no other business than krishna as krishna says sarva dharma an paritajya mam ekam saranam bala we are doing that we have no other business simply krishna why krishna stu bhagwan sam He is the supreme personality of all. It Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, "Matta paratarang nanya kinti jasti dhananjaya." I am the supreme. Aham sarvasa prabhava matta sarvam pravartati iti matya bhajante mana buddha bhava samadhi. Only the learned scholars can worship Krishna. Only the learned scholar, self-realized soul, can understand Bhagavad Gita. Not by the politicians or the so-called scholars. No, it is not possible. Therefore, Krishna consciousness movement is very important movement. We appeal to the sober class, dhiro, not the adhiro. We also accepting dhiro and adhiro by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of the Goswami, dhira dhiro, dhiro and adhiro, just like these boys and girls. They were adhira. Now they are adhira. Adhira. Adhira means without any responsibility, doing all nonsense. Actually, they are rich men, rich nations, sons and daughters. They are doing it, but now they have become adhira. No illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. Yes, sir. This is adhira. You are already intoxicated. You are already illusioned in this material world. If you still go on drinking, where is the possibility of knowledge? And you must have sober brain to understand. Huh? So this is going on. Therefore, my appeal to all the sober men to understand this Krishna consciousness movement and join it for the benefit of his personal self. for the benefit of his country for the benefit of the whole human society thank you very much hari